Most people will wait a year, can spend a year or even more than that studying for an exam before they give it their first try without even knowing exactly what that exam experience is like. Hey, welcome back to Green Not an Expert. My name is John Green. I'm a senior technical support engineer, and you can likely tell by the title of this video, I'll be sharing how my brother, Josh Green, got his JNCIA in only two months. Now, full disclaimer, my brother did attend a networking course about four years ago where he did get exposure to the fundamentals of IT and how things worked on Cisco iOS routers and switches. But as I mentioned, that was four years ago and my brother found himself a bit rusty. He also had little to no experience with Juniper equipment. So that brings us to the question, well, why did Josh wanna pursue the certification to begin with? And to fill you in, Josh currently works in the army as a radio repair specialist, while also working part-time as a door dasher. And he's been trying to break into the IT field for quite some time now. And then so he wanted to pursue an entry level role that would allow him to get himself into the IT field and allow him to potentially work his way up. And he figured what better way than to do that by refreshing his knowledge of networking with pursuing an entry level certification while simultaneously allowing him to validate to employers his understanding of how things work with a particular vendor. In this case, that was the Juniper JNCIA. So how exactly did he do it? Number one, he started off by creating a free account with Juniper Networks. This allowed him to gain access to the free content that they have available in their learning portal. Once he signed up, he opted to enroll in the CCNA to JNCIA course. And this is for people that may already have somewhat of an understanding of how things work in IT and just need to know how things are done differently on Juniper. At the end, there's an assessment that you can take that's about 60, 65 questions or some something around that range. And if you pass it, you get 70% off your voucher. Full disclaimer, Juniper does have a second course available that's a bit longer, which outlines everything an uh, individual would need to know, even if they didn't have a background in networking and were looking to pursue the certification. So on his first week of setting his sights to pursue the JNCIA certification, I encouraged him to go ahead and schedule a test date for the exam. That's right, not the second week, not the third week, right out of the gate, he went ahead and scheduled the exam to test that Wednesday or Thursday. And you can probably guess he failed. And that's to be expected. You know, most people will wait a year, can spend a year or even more than that studying for an exam before they give it their first try without even knowing exactly what that exam experience is like. So I encouraged him to get this exposure, to get a feel for the exam, see how they ask the questions, and also get his results. That way, when he actually started studying, he could assess, okay, what areas and topics are am I strong in and did I do well on? And then what areas did I bomb or just did horrible that I could spend a, a, really a lot more time focusing on how to improve in these particular areas? This is a lot more useful than blindly studying for the entire exam. Number three, I showed him how to get access to a hidden link on Juniper's website. I call it hidden because I found it a bit difficult to find, but it's probably not for some other tech savvy people. Uh, essentially, this allows you to access the JNCIA practice exam that Juniper has available. And this practice exam, you get unlimited attempts. I think there's even two different ones, or there may be one I'd have to double check. But essentially, you can test it, go through it, and at the end, you can even see what the correct answers would be that would allow you to properly assess and grasp a better understanding of why those answers were correct, rather than blindly wondering, well, well why did I get it wrong? Lastly, for number four, he also spent some time on the EvenG platform messing around with the VSRX device. This allowed him to put some of the concepts that he was learning and the commands that he was learning from Juniper into place and actually get a feel for how to navigate uh, between the different modes of the CLI and just get an overall understanding of how things in networking are done on Juniper. So to round out this video, Josh did actually take the JNCIA exam more than one time, more than twice. But this constant exposure to the actual exam is what allowed him to reflect on his results and adjust how he studied and what he studied on to allow him to get better each time he took it. If you're watching this video, you're likely studying for some certification, whether that's the Security Plus, the A Plus, Network Plus, the JNCIA, or the Cisco CCNA. Put your imagination to rest 
and get a feel for the actual exam. I made a post about this a while back on my LinkedIn saying that there's no better way to prepare for a certification than by just doing it. By doing it, you gain the most from the experience in terms of knowing and getting an actual assessment of what the exam is like and how you can prepare for it in the future. So figure out what exactly you're up against and go for it. I wish you all the best and I hope you found this video helpful towards your IT journey. As always, thanks for viewing and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.